Long go. Rebound box. Back out to Allen. History point of the Oh, oh yeah. We packing somebody up oh. tonight. Oh. Hey. Come on in, take your shoes off before we close the door. Few rules, heat pack in the air. We about to blow. This the basement, ain't nobody safe. You already know. Grab a seat and kick your feet before you get too comfortable. You want the X's and the O's, the tray, yes and no. Friends and the foes, the butlers and the heroes. You can feel it in your soul. But when the ring is the goal, but if somebody need to go, we be sure to let you know. Going hard for my dogs is an everyday thing. Like Jimmy down the lane of 13 off the screen. Whole squad keep it tucked like number 17. Bring your takes and your memes. Going hard for the team. Oh. Ah. Going down in the basement. Oh. Oh. Ah. It's going down in the basement. Oh. Get your takes off. Get your, get your takes oh. off. Ah. Going down in the basement. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Fix this, my brother. Knock me down a peg, sir. Come on now, I got you. Don't worry about it. Yeah! 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 White man, hold us up. <laughs> White what? Yeah! Welcome to the Basement Sports Network post game show. I'm your host, Roy A. Shepard, and I'm joined tonight by my guy Stone. Stone, how you doing this evening? I'm doing amazing. The heat is so back. Uh, three peat starts now. Come on, three peat. We, we got a one peat first, brother. <laughs> also on this panel, we got my dog, Kane Kendall, pulling up one time for the one time. Kendall, how you doing, bro? Brother. That little tea party that they be having up there. The members are in shambles. <laughs> they wanted to see black and red. Yes, they did. But not with the words Miami. <laughs> Or heat across them. <laughs> they want to see Chicago and Bulls. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. But we ruined that shit tonight, did we? The Heat beat uh, Chicago uh, 112 to 91 for the final play in spot, uh, making them the AFC, leading up to us playing the Boston Celtics in round one of the playoffs. We're not going to spend too much time talking about this game tonight. I feel like it was a game that Miami, for the most part, was in control of. Yeah, at first, early on, Chicago was doing well. Um, but Miami just kind of, once they kind of gained control, they scored 34 points in that first quarter, never really looked back from there. So <laughs> we want to thank Adam Rodriguez with the $2 donut. He said, just remember Tyler Hero got ripped by Drummond. I wasn't going to bring that up tonight at all. And I'm not going to bring it up again, but you brought it up and put money on it. So we got at least... Acknowledge that it happened. Yes, Tyler Hero did get stripped by De DeAndre. <laughs> Shout out to my game with the 1999 don't know. He said not again. Yes, again, my brother. Yes, again. We knew it would happen. We tried to tell you. Dan the film jet with the $5 don't know. Consistency is key, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, Hi, mate. Tyrone Wade Jr. is fucking awesome. That's our rook out there. Wimby, who again, never heard that name before. Listen, Jaime Jaquez was fucking amazing tonight. Uh, got a good game from several people out here. I know people are going to bitch and moan about a certain player's stat line, and we will eventually get to him, uh, even though he doesn't deserve half of what he's going to get anyway. Uh, but we're going to start with you, Stone. Stone, tell me what you thought of this game. I thought the game was great. Um, they played fast. They made good decisions. They moved the rock. It's like all of the characteristics of any team that isn't my, the Miami Heat. Like, I didn't recognize this team tonight. Um, I have no idea when Terry Rozier is coming back, but it was something I was thinking about tonight. Um, and I, I liked how they played the game. It, it, it looked like efficient – Offense, kind of. <laughs> Efficient offense, kind of. Yeah, I, look, like you said, bro, the ball was popping tonight. You know what I mean? And in order to give that its proper credence, we have to give credit to the person who led the team in assists tonight, Tyler Hero. Uh, Tyler Hero had nine assists again tonight um, in a much more efficient shooting effort. Like, only took 17 shots this time. I ain't got one less point than he did in the first play in game. So, you know what I mean? Less is more in some regards. This is one of those regards. Want to shout out my dog, New, for pulling up to the stage. New, how you doing this evening? I'm great. How are you guys? 
We're doing fantastic, even though we just got finished talking to you in the playback. Most of y'all should join us because now that we are in the playoffs, every game of the playoffs, we will be doing a playback during the game. So during the games, if you want to come in there and chat with us, make sure you go over to playback backslash uh, playback.tv backslash the basement sports network. Subscribe to us over there. We, when we go live during the game, you can come in there. We'll let you on stage so that you can actually chat with us. It's a good time for everybody over there. Adam Rodriguez again with the $10 dono. He said, just remember that hero got ripped by Drummond. I will keep bringing it up so all his stats can see. If you got a problem, put money on it. Hey, bro, I like that type of energy, Adam Rodriguez. If they go put money on it to talk about how Tyler got ripped, if you want to argue against it, then I will read your comments. If you give me a dono, if you do not give me a dono arguing against it, I will not even acknowledge that you did any of that. Uh, 19 more playback episodes. Who's to say that? Kendall, let me hear your thoughts on the game, bro. Big time players. No, I'm sorry. I ain't going to give that boy that Santana most, man. Come on, now. It's money for the real niggas, man. Come on. Nah, but... uh. Good team win, led by Tyler Hero. Um, I thought I've been saying it since the last game. Hey, this is his chance to step up and you know show a little something. Yeah, I I, I ain't letting that slide. I ain't letting that slide. Uh, I, got, I got I got to take their picture so I can send it to that boy. Make hey. sure that he know. Folks call him out again. He's he's I want to let y'all know that the nasty man saw y'all last time calling him out. Yeah, he watched he it. Saw, the day late. He watched he watched it the day late. He saw y'all. And I'm just I'm just saying I'm gonna tell him that y'all talk that y'all talk about it. Because oh that benefit us, so we definitely gonna snitch. Cook. We usually don't be title telling, but no, but I'm telling about that money, yeah. We gone. We 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 look what that money <laughs> make <up. laughs> Look what that money make a big do. <laughs> but yeah, uh Tyler let us. Um he was doing a lot and it and it was good. It, it resulted in good results. Um and in his good form, um Jaime Jaquez, who the cutting was there. You know, he made open threes. I think one. I think he only took one that I remember. Haywood, Shameless came in and was effective. Like, DeLon Wright. It's, that's just like, hey, that's just what it is. Um, <laughs> Like, you gave the Miami Heat something to play for, and they drug the Chicago Bulls into the dirt, <laughs> pushed them around. And had them in the slot, and they both started there. And the Miami Heat came up out that mud, bro. Like it looked a little cleaner on offense, but they they beat them up, bro. Nobody nobody played bad, bro. Like tonight, it was a team win, and Tyler was the best player. And it is what it is. And now, I just we as Heat fans, even though I don't think we're winning the series. We got the satisfaction to know that for the next two days, Boston fans are like a little stressed and annoyed <laughs> because their life won't be easy, bro. And that's a little bit, that's enough for me for right now. Like, they are, bro, they are so mad, bro. Like, bro, we are going, I feel like they're mad because they know that after they get out of a series with us, it's Cause up. I, yeah, it's like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Like I, I mean, I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna count us out until after I see game one. But I'm not right now. I'm not anticipating that we beat Boston. I'm not going to put that out there in the atmosphere. But no matter how it ends, if Boston does get out of a series with Miami, there will be a price that they have paid that they did not want to pay moving forward in the playoffs. Dog no, Royal, the the fact that they gonna have to pay a price to get that first round. <laughs> You're gonna have to pay a price to get the second round too. It's gonna be a heavy toll on their way to a championship. It's a slobber knocker going down in Orlando and Cleveland. <laughs> and whoever <laughs> come out of that, they gotta play us, and then they gotta play one of them. So they're gonna be stressed out, and that worked for me. Yeah, bro. That always fits my narrative anyway. Amanda Madero's with the $10 Dono. Appreciate you, gang. She said, uh, I'm at the realization that as long as Jaime and Nico get good quality minutes and ball out against Boston, I think it's a win. I, I uh, Only a win is a win, Amanda, in my opinion. But I did say 
that I don't think there's any such thing as bad playoff experience for young players. Uh, that's one of the points that I made over in the playback. I think Miami getting to this situation gives them an opportunity to get those guys actual playoff reps, and that can be invaluable for their young careers. Whether or not that that benefits Miami or not, TBD. <laughs> but but at least they get the opportunity to go and experience what the playoffs could be like. And if they do remain in Miami, then that experience could help them, you know, be better prepared for next season and give them like an opportunity to show what they can do then. Uh, Alex Campbell with the 499. Don't know. He said, was this an example of the benefit of clear roles? No. Not in a game where Haywood Highsmith's taking four threes. <laughs> It was so, an, it was an example of the Chicago Bulls. Yes, that's I think that's a good way to put it because I was trying to find out how what's up, dude. What you think it was an example of? It was an example of young men being able to play young men basketball. So the ability to be able to run up and down the court uh kind of benefited this team. Uh, unless, uh, Chicago, I, it being Chicago played a factor, obviously. Like yeah, the yeah. biggest thing, but like but Tyler most Hero, of them. But they they're younger players, bro. Like that dribble the like that give Jimmy the ball, let Jimmy dribble the ball out, shoot a bunch of grenades all game. None of them. That's that style is not conducive. <clears throat> excuse me for anybody but Jimmy Butler and Kevin Love. Like you said, that's why he be throwing them hit ahead passes like that because the old nigga. <laughs> Don't want to run up the court on a fast break, but like, and you see when Miami needed the game slowed down, they put Kevin Love in there, and that nigga got like ten free throws. <laughs> he gonna work that old man game. He, like, he was working their ass in that slow down, throw me the ball in the post type shit. He was in there like, Ugh. <laughs> every every time that whistle blew, he could breathe. I think that's an interesting point that won't get brought up like very often. Um, is the different pace that Miami is has to play at without Jimmy or are capable. Of playing that without uh Jimmy Butler in there because players like Jaime and Nico they want to run, so they are they're going to when Jimmy wants there, to run, Bam wants to run to a certain extent, and so does Tyler. Tyler likes to get up and down the court too. So in Caleb, it benefits Caleb too. So the starting five that they put out there, those guys all have a tendency to want to run, and um, and I think without Jimmy, they have more freedom to do that because there's nobody saying slow it down. What's up? Huh. I'm, I'm missing something. But I got Alex Campbell with the 499. Don't know. He said if the Heat somehow make this a six game series, ha 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 ha. But fuck all that. Fuck is you talking about? The nasty man has pulled up with the 250. Y'all better quit playing with my boy. All right. Gang said he don't tolerate the disrespect and he put money on it. My boy came up here with the 250, said we want the Celtics. I lied. Uh, nasty man. Get out my bag. You know, I'd be lying to just but, but appreciate you, gang. Show these folks how to really donate to a screen, bro. That's what you do out here. Our bro with the 199 don't know said beat Boston and you will win it all. Rest it, Jimmy. <laughs> you still have to play a team in the Western Conference, bro. And that's not a thing. Um, who I didn't get to. I know I, I went to Stone, I went to Jimmy. New, did I uh, ask you your thoughts on the game? Oh, okay. New, give me your thoughts on the game. Thoughts on the game? I am so glad these stats don't count. So Tyler Hero fans can never tell us he almost had a triple double. <laughs> to the they will never see them again after this. It's not going on. It's not going on NBA reference. Stats. You can't find players stats nowhere. <laughs> NBA reference. You can play in a quick game or two K. This is a quick game. <laughs> it don't it exist. It's like no. Nah, um, I hate this team. <laughs> I hate these niggas, bro. <laughs> With every fiber of my being, I hate this team. Like, you do this tonight, two years straight, you do this. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Hey, bro, y'all better quit playing with my dog. 200 more dollars. The nasty man psyched. I put 10K on these fools making the finals. Lied again, though. Bro, stop. Bro, you know better than anybody else. Don't put your money on the goddamn... Miami Heat making no kind of run, bro. Because just as sure as they can make you happy, they can put you right back in shambles again, bro. Wait till they get past Boston. If they get past Boston, put a little change on it. Uh, Alex Campbell, listen. First of all, don't be trying to spend his money. You put six hundred on it, all right? The nasty man knows the limits of what this is. <laughs> he know how much money he can put in here. You help him out. Get you some in there. What's good, family? What's happening, game? Uh, but yeah, 
You said the nasty man getting royal wet. Listen, bro. Y'all know how I do, bro. I get all hot and bothered when niggas start getting me money, and I start wanting to strip. Nigga, give me 250 more dollars. Y'all will be seeing some skin on here. A nipple or two will be exposed on the Basement Sports Network tonight. Thanks for right. in the comments and tuning in. <laughs> nope. So much. Nope. Nope. 500 income. It better be coming from you, Caleb. Caleb. Khalid. It better be coming. Khalid. You know, I was about to call that boy something. Getting a rap, like I was about to get crazy, bro. <laughs> niggas, when they get that scam of money, they can't. Come on, no, come on, now. we get excited. You feel me? Uh, Alan's Augustine never saw you before in here before, but appreciate them ten dollars donos. Welcome to the family. Uh, he said, Dope to see my fellow Zoes running the show, Miami and seven, brother. There's not a single Haitian up here, but stop. I say, my nigga, you know what I'm saying. You, it was Stone Haitian, so I forgot about that. But if Bam is in the alpha and we rely on heroes, broke shots, Celtics in five. Brother, relax yourself and get out of here with them non guts. All right, my Haitian twin. Uh, go ahead, new finish your, uh, your thoughts. Though. I'm sorry. Um, no, <laughs> um, shout out to them for having some heart for real because I, I, I know I said like I hate them, but if they would have came out tonight and just got like ran off the court. It, it would have been bad. Like, it would have been very, very bad. So, um, DeMar DeRozan, you stink, nigga. Um, <laughs> Kobe White, I hope you don't win six men of the year. <laughs> Ayo, Ayo Sumo is a Nigerian scammer. Who else is on that team? <laughs> Alice Caruso. You stink, nigga. Uh, crap, you stink, white boy. Oh, um, uh, what? Vucevic. 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 Deport him. I'm calling ICE as soon as we get off screen. Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond. Find Jeanette McCurdy, you freak nigga. Because I hate you, too. I hate the Chicago Bulls, man. I just want two, two years in a row they could have put us out of our misery. Brenton Shepard. Come on. Come on. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Fuck him. And everything he stands for. Fuck his whole family, actually. Anybody related to that nigga. Fuck him. I'm sorry. I'm related to that nigga. I love him. He's the best. Uh, <laughs> I I don't really want to get into individual performances. I, we'll just talk about Tyler Hero a little bit. Bro was cool. He earned that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He earned everything that's getting said about him tonight. All you, <laughs> all you Tyler Hero stands, feel free to call me an idiot. Feel free to call me whatever kind of names that you can come up with, even though some of y'all are wild. Wait, who is this? Champagne moments. Is this the boss himself? Who is this that we are talking to right now? We can do it how you want to do it, where you want to do it, anytime you want to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your doctors on. What's going on? <laughs> Let's go! My boy! <laughs> Oh my god, Nino had me laughing. I was like, you know what? Let me hop on three for a little bit. You know, I had to come with a champagne. Welcome, my welcome, white boy. Hey, 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 hold hold on, on, hold hold on. On. hey, Stone had us so prepared for something epic to come out of his mouth tonight because he cooked up a take and Gaddio came through. Brother stole all his thunder. <laughs> well, listen, Stone, you do you. I'm sure it's gonna have like some third grade reading level involved, and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna have fun. The comments are also happy to see my boy pulling up one time. Gad, bro, let me hear your thoughts from the game tonight. Uh, I was laughing the whole time. Like, first of all, a 22 0 run, they should bring back assassinating people because. Billy Donovan, if this game was in Chicago, he was not making it out of that arena. Like, oh my God, man. That they're so ass. That's my takeaway from the game. The Chicago Bulls truly just suck. You know how hard it is for someone to say, damn, we missed Lonzo Ball for two years straight. <laughs> That's where they are. That's where they are, man. So Nah, the, the, the Bulls suck. I'm personally happy that the Heat won. I haven't been able to watch too many games recently, so I'm happy that I can watch them <laughs> next week. But, uh, yeah, it's only going to be about four of them. <laughs> you, sound, you sound like you've been home this whole time, Gag, because we on the same shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
we don't know how long we got them, how much longer we got them for, but we just gonna appreciate it. No, for listen, man. Longer. I'm gonna watch Thomas Bryan go <laughs> for the for the next four games, and then I'm out. <laughs> see y'all. You see I got hockey to watch or something. I don't know. Figure out a new, a new sport. None of my teams are doing ice, well. Ice cats. <laughs> that should be hilarious. Uh, yeah, we were going to talk about Tyler Hero a little bit because Tyler played really well, and we don't do enough Tyler love on this network. All we do is hate on Tyler Hero. So, Stone, say something nice about Tyler Hero. I need y'all to envision that draft night, Adam Silver coming out music. I got a trade to announce. I'm trading myself to Team Fan Fiction. Tyler Hero <laughs> will lead us to the NBA Finals. He is going to go back to Buffalo. Gentlemen, I, gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, I want you to do me a favor. Remove this cracker from my show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. You already know. With just, with just the fact he let us know that it was him. By just <laughs> yeah, bro. I just pull it off. Hey, bro. Hey, y'all already know. He is not. They talk about Lex Stone Cook. Brother, that's not my choice, okay? Brother, I am but a mere host. It, it is your choice, one. But two, we do not like unseasoned takes. <laughs> Nor food. We will keep Stone away from the kitchen. He will be greeting at the door in the concierge service. <laughs> he, he is not by the food. He ain't cooking. <laughs> yeah, hey, brother. Hey, Dale, oh, send that boy to the store and get us some big Bufords. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and bring us a bag of check of fries. Come on now. Fully loaded, of course. Uh, it's, it's, let's don't cook. I'm ordering takeout. It's LJ, you retarded. Uh, so, not Stone. Can we already we kick Stone out for now. Stone, we'll let you come back after we talk about Tyler Hero. Um, Kendall, say something nice about Tyler Hero. Uh, it's about damn time. <laughs> it's about damn time. Shout out LeBron James. On God. That's all you got? Brother, That's good he's helped my team back. <laughs> the, over, the overinvestment in him has held this team back. I am, that is all he gets. I said a lot when you asked me my initial thoughts. He who? He was the best player. I'm not doing it. Shut up, girl. Go get my 20, my 2K. <laughs> Give me my bands and quit talking girl, crazy. I mean, my bread. I even gave you payment plan options. Fuck out of here. You can do 100 weeks of $20 if you want. Fuck you. Mean. What's but that yeah. shit? That'd be letting people do payment plans at like Best Buy and shit. Like, what's well, um, the You have to pay? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I have to play pay over here. I'll give you option, no answers. Listen, I put five guys on Klarna the other day. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. If I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm sorry. That that sounds like a nasty party. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing, Alex Rodriguez with a $20 don't know. He said, hey, I can't match the nasty Adam. man himself. I'm shooting shots at, oh, Adam Rodriguez, whatever. I don't care what his name is. <laughs> I'm shooting shots at all the Tyler Hero stands because I will never forget he got stripped by the drum. <laughs> that has been three people who have given us money. I don't know if two of them was Adam Rodriguez, but there's three different comments that we've gotten paid to talk about Tyler Hero getting stripped by Andre Drummond. I'm not doing this, people. I'm doing my job. I am doing what I always do. I am reading the donations. All right. Uh, Alex, Alex Campbell with the four ninety nine. Don't know. He said, "How much Hulu lost on that Jimmy campaign?" I don't know, but the NBA looked like they won on that uh, playoff Tatum thing. Cause now I'm, they're glad they didn't add playoff Jimmy because he won't be there. New say nice things about Tyler Hero tonight. He has a beautiful family. <laughs> you know, children, love. That's important, and he has that. So not as important as black love. I just, I'm yeah. <laughs> Catch a quarter white, so he got like 10% black. <laughs> First of all, Tyler is black. Ain't that what Jimmy Butler told you? <laughs> uh, J- Justin, you got that other gentleman video. All right, no, no, no. Uh, like, gentlemen, remove this Muslim from my show. <laughs> 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 
That's crazy. My, my bad. My bad. I had to get that one off. The oh. <laughs> I've been holding that one for a long time. Like, <laughs> said, yeah, 80, 84 games it is. <laughs> 84 games. We can't take this. Dad, you can say nice Son, things, but. I want you to do me a favor. Remove this. Nigga. <laughs> Brother, we got all bases covered out here. We will get your ass up out of here. One way or the other. If you get up here talking crazy. Gat, want to say nice things about, about Tyler Hero tonight? I can't hear Gat. Can you hear him? Nah, Gat. Oh. That's part of the joke, guys. That's, that's <laughs> part of the joke. I'm not going to lie. Um, nah, he played good, though. You're he played good. Well. And the fact that he got stripped by Andre Drummond, I will lead off with that because that is one of the funniest. That stretch of basketball was just so ass. Uh, listen, man, he almost got a triple-double. Spo held him out before getting it. That got to me. I'm not going to lie. Spo, Spo, <laughs> Spo cooked on that one. But he played good. He played good. He made up for the other night. Uh, the fact that he did it against Alex Caruso is good to see. But the Chicago Bulls are ass, bro. I'm sorry. They're that team does not deserve to be anywhere close to the playoffs. So yeah. Like congratulations. Yeah. I want to see you do it against Derek White's bald head next week. Well, brother, I got bad news for you. <laughs> We're watching like this. <laughs> Try to take like for real. Uh no, but I, I will I am one of the most uh I'm one of the most adamant Tyler Hero critics. One of the most vocal, if you will. Uh, but tonight, bro, I have absolutely zero criticism for the way Tyler Hero played. He played basketball in a manner that is appropriate for somebody of his skill set, that was appropriate for somebody of his skill set in the position that he was placed in tonight. It did not feel to me at all like Tyler Hero tried to put too much on his own plate to lead this team. It felt like he just kind of played within himself. And that's all I've been asking him to do. <laughs> For his entire career. So to see him try be effective without trying to do too much was good. You know what I mean? Now, will that carry over to the next game? No. But for one game, it got us, it helped us get a win. He was a huge part of us getting a win tonight to get us into the playoffs. And I'm looking forward to see how he performs in the playoffs. Because the play-in does me no, does nothing for how I feel about him as a player. His playoff performance will be something that he's judged very heavily on. And so, for, at least for the last night of a non-playoff uh, thing, I think Tyler Hero played really well. And they should give him a little bit of momentum going into uh, another series uh, right after this. So, I don't want to talk about this game anymore. It was fine. Uh, Jose, your health needs some simple advising. With the lob, the boy Dan in the film just So, we want to shout out the primary sponsor of the Basement Sports Network, and that is Simple Health Advisors. Ladies and gentlemen, insurance does not need to be complicated. Make sure you email I got James Pugh or give him a call today and tell him that the basement sent you. Email James Pugh at J Pugh, that's J P O U G H, at simplehealthadvisors.com or give him a call at 321 345 7738. Again, that number is 321 345 7738. We also want to thank the other sponsor of the Basement Sports Network, and that is Aim High Hit Higher Enterprises. Do you need any services for a DJ, for a prom, for a graduation party? They, you know, got high school graduation coming up. Everybody needs a graduation DJ. Uh, quinceanera, uh, child birthday parties, anything that you can think of that you need, any type of entertainment services, hit up my guy, DJ Dynamite, and the people over at Aim High Hit Higher. You can text them at 561-592-4146 or email them at jament at aimhighhithigher.com, uh, and they'll help you out in the best way that they can. They're awesome. They give really affordable prices. And he's just a good dude, bro. So make sure y'all hit him up for some of his services. Want to thank Adam Rodriguez for the $10 dono. He said, stop, Royal. He got stripped by Drummond. Fuck out of here. You're right. Uh, let's talk about, I don't want to talk about the game anymore. This shit's over with, and it's never going to count in the statistics anyway. So it doesn't matter what Tyler Hero did. History will not remember it. Uh, let's talk about this first round series versus Boston that we got. Initial feelings, though. Like, just... <laughs> Out the blue, when we when the game was finally over, the matchup is established. Tell me your initial thoughts, feelings about this series. It, it's really going to be great to watch Boston fans on the timeline bargain with themselves all weekend about how this isn't the same thing as last year. Um, it probably isn't, but I, I, them just having that that little bit more of a clenched, you know, 
butthole down there. Like that, that brings me some satisfaction. Um, no ditty. Um, anyways, I, I think that we are going to smoke them. I don't want to wish injury on them. I'm not wishing injury on them, but it would be kind of cool if we kept building on this narrative that Bam is a dirty player and one of them got hurt, you know, accidentally freak stuff going for the ball near Bam. I would love to see that. He said it would be kind of cool. It would be kind of cool. It's in fucking insane, bro. I'm not wishing injury, but I, it'll be cool. I would love to see. I'm wishing Bam, injury on Chris Stops Porzingis. So. Huh? He's a rapist. <laughs> Need Bam to step on those feet. <laughs> he is a rapist. Uh, New, what were your initial thoughts as soon as the clock hit zero about the matchup versus Boston? You think my thoughts had to wait till the clock hit zero? The no. niggas was up 30. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what were your thoughts after the second quarter? What what you knew that my head was going to play Boston. <laughs> um, sucks that Jimmy's hurt. Um, that, that, for real, that was my initial thought. Like, damn, it's like that. He's hurt. But, uh, I'm interested in saying, bam, I think for me personally, like, not like statistically, he doesn't have to prove anything. I'm just interested in seeing how he like takes over. Cause he was like, he was barking at Tyler a little bit in that second quarter when Tyler was doing dumb stuff. So I'm interested in seeing if he's going to tell Tyler, like, Hey, white boy, like. I've been here before. You haven't. F- find your spots. I don't have to pick mine. That's that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. What what Bam does as the captain of this team. That's an interesting notion, though, because Bam is going to catch hell for his game tonight. You already know it. Like eight shot attempts after what he did last game. Like people are going to give him hell for 13 points, four rebounds, four assists. That's Jen just the Lee, reality. I don't tell people I don't. I don't know. I love them, but appreciate you. No, oh, he said, uh, I love Nunu so much in her little chair. <laughs> okay. I got a vertigear if you guys care about that. I don't know nothing. <laughs> Nigga said, I got a chair too. Yeah, like, you don't care about my chair, bro? That's insane, bro. My shit be in the camera too. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Kendall, what were your initial thoughts after knowing that Miami is going to play Boston? Fuck the game for a second. We'll just speak on furniture. Unlike these two pores over here to my left, your right, or whatever, I have a couch. I have a couch that I can sit on. I do not have to camp out in computer chairs to find comfort. Um, but yeah, uh, what you asked me? What were your thoughts on this? On like Boston, Miami versus Boston. As soon as you knew, like that was gonna be a thing, bro. Them boys stress, bro. Maybe not the players, bro, but their fans are annoyed, bro. Like that, I found comfort in causing havoc for other people, <laughs> especially people that like ninety five percent is probably like racist in their fan base. So like that's cool too. Um, yeah, bro. Like in a win for me, I don't care how they do it, bro. Get two wins. I don't care if it's 2-1, 3-2, and we down. Bro, get two wins. Get get game one by any means necessary. And have Boston have to deal with hearing for two days, maybe. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, the the first series is more spread out, right? Uh, I would think that it would be faster because, I don't know, like I ain't going to pretend, but like I would think it would be like closer because they got more games that they got to get in there. And then, like, oh. as they go on, then the games are more spread, spread out. All right. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, they just going to have to hear that from their media. They're going to have to hear, like, oh, you're so much better than this team, and you couldn't beat them in the first game. Bro, like, just stress them out. Like, and, and I just asked Miami, you don't have to do too much. Just keep the game close, bro. Just keep it close as you can, like, with like four minutes left and watch them do what they do. That little that little lucky um mascot they got, he gonna start diddy bopping in the middle of the court because he that's him getting nervous. 
Like when they when they logo start shaking in the middle of the court, that's not because Kyrie saged the arena. It's because the fans are supremely nervous, and so is Lucky in the middle of that court. The ghost of Larry Bird is shaking in his boots. Like, bruh, I don't care if they win. I just want them to be stressed, bruh. Like, that is a win for me. Um, to answer your question, Dale, game one is Saturday. Game two is Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> First take. Get up. Uh. Uh, for three days, okay. Kimball. For Monday, first, Tuesday, first, and the Wednesday, the morning of the game. First, brother, NBA TV. Come on now, the NBA. Speak for yourself. Shannon Bro. Sharp and Ocho Cinco. <laughs> Bro, a 1-0 lead. Gilbert Arenas and them Crash Bandicoot dummies. Like, a 1-0 lead. Paul Pierce. Weekend. It will move. No, Paul Pierce and them, they scared. Like, they respect us. Like, they know what it is. But a 1-0 lead for Miami over Boston, bro. And just for them to have to deal with that for four days, it's beautiful. I need that it. Is, that is an amazing, that is an amazing uh, point that you bring up. Because if Miami is able to somehow steal game one, the narrative surrounding kind of like Boston falling into the same trap will be playing loudly uh, until that next game. And I do think that there is a level of mental fragility there. Yeah. What were your initial thoughts when you realized that Miami would be playing there? Oh, go ahead, Kendall, before I let you go. Oh, I was just going to say, and that just guarantees get game one, you come home 1-1. One, one. Yeah. And all you and then you got two uh, two day, two chances to get one more. That's all you need. Like, And I'm not even talking on the win in the series, bro. Just making their life hell, bro. Because we shouldn't be in it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we shouldn't be anywhere near this. Gad, what were your initial thoughts when you realized that we were playing uh, Boston? My first thought was back to Jalen Brown saying, don't let us get one when his dumb ass was down 3-0 against the eight-seeded Miami <laughs> Heat. Listen, do not let us get one. Because if I see Nikola Jovic smile <laughs> at any point next series, I know it's over and we're winning that game, man. That, that goofy motherfucker is going to be so happy just to be there. He can't wait. I'm with Kendall, though. Like, you win game one, or at least keep game one close, man. And just, like, make Boston sweat a little bit. Because they're obviously heads and shoulders above anything that we could possibly put out on the court. Like, you could probably kill their starting lineup, and they might still be favored to win the series. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Because you win one game. One game. And that's more than more than anyone expected, first and foremost. Like, uh, Brian Fonseca tweeted out the odds. And I think FanDuel has the Celtics at minus 8,000 on the series. <laughs> You know how crazy that is. If you bet eight thousand dollars on the Boston Celtics and they win, the series, you, get you win eight thousand one hundred dollars. You might as well take eight thousand dollars and put it in some fucking bonds. But that's not financial advice. You do whatever the hell you want. Um, nah, that is <laughs> the the Heat have the opportunity to do the funniest thing of all time. I'm not gonna lie. So I will be rooting for it. I will be expecting absolutely nothing. I'm expecting at this time next week, we are probably fishing, but that's neither here nor there. Win one game, just keep the game, get it to a clutch game, bro. And I'm cool with that. Like, just get try to get Boston in the mud like once or twice because we know they're that much better than us. But it doesn't matter. Do some Miami Heat shit. I'm cool with it. Compete. William Davis. You must be one of the basement members who came after the basement was started. <laughs> but Gad is one. Gad is one of the OGs. Maybe brother. it's because he ain't got the dashiki on. You feel me? They might not recognize him. Uh, that, that one might be at Goodwill. Now I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the boy Ricky J. Mark made you retire that bitch. <laughs> nah, I just <laughs> I can't <just> wait. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little snug around the mid. <laughs> Uh, we got my boy Ant DeNaro pulling up one time for the one time. Ant, uh, I know you hosted a watch party on your YouTube channel, right? So you watched the game over there, and you probably yeah. did like a little post game shit over there. So make sure y'all check that out. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, Ant, give me your thoughts on the game, and then uh, give me your thoughts on kind of where you envision this going for Miami as they play uh, Boston in the first round. No, nah, I don't. I don't really give a shit about this game. I came here to do two things. Uh, one, I came here to say what's up to Gad. Gad, how you doing, bro? How's life, man? Uh, you're not saying what's up to the rest of the panel? That seems a little... Hmm. Come on, now. Come on, Gad. 
Come on. Oh, see, you thought you, you, thought you had a friend, dude. He's not that he far got, away, brother. He thought he had a friend, Gad. He, Gad is an ally. <laughs> I, I have a problem. I have a problem looking new in the eye because I'm looking pretty stupid around this time of the year. Uh, I was pretty prevalent early on this season saying, wait to the postseason and see what Jimmy Butler's going to do. Well, guess fucking what, Jimmy? All that fucking coasting and resting you did in the rest of the season ain't doing shit because now you're on the fucking bench scoring as many points as fucking me. Uh, so shout out to New and Kendall and Stone and Royal here uh, for trying to tell me I was stupid earlier and I didn't want to listen. But hey, I'm hey, a wait, man. I can up. admit shut when I'm wrong. Up, white boy. Shut, shut up, white boy. <laughs> well, I got to get a dashiki to get some respect shut around here. Fuck up. That's bitch. a crazy thing to ask. I'm not going to lie. But the Hello answer is there. probably yes. Hello, girl. How you doing? Thank you. Never knew how latosis can come through a screen, but here we are. You can get your motherfucking ass out too, nigga. Nigger. <laughs> uh, I'm sweating now. Who go the fuck get me out? <laughs> Wasn't oh, oh. I got oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Did he put okay? Uh, go ahead, Ant. you can finish whatever you're talking about, bro. Yeah, the, the second thing I had to say is, uh, I found something a way, uh, and I know I've been one of the more optimistic Tyler Hero yeah. people on this channel. That motherfucker pissed me off today. Uh, what you have right here is <laughs> plus 7,500 odds, Tyler Hero triple double, five dollars would have won me 380, and this motherfucker. Can't get one more assist. Okay, I'm sick. Time in out. A game that he Time actually out. played pretty Time well. Out. You Time gotta out. call that gambling Time hotline, out. my brother. First of all, you placed a five dollar bet on a fucking Tyler Hero triple double. So that is shame on you. You couldn't waterboard that information out of me. And then, <laughs> second of all, three hundred and eighty dollars. We gotta do. Come on, man. Come on. I'll send you the I'll send you the link. I'll get you in touch with somebody. We're gonna get you help, Ant. We got, uh, we I don't got know more than that in donations. There's from a the lot basketball. of red around the there's a lot of red around these parts. He was he was grinding them uh <laughs> them trends. The last Tyler Hero triple double. Yo, was a yeah, he put he had placed nine parlays the other night. <laughs> he had Tyler on every single one. He had Tyler Hero on every parlay the other night. <laughs> Hey, yo, man, I need Darius Jordan to step up. Well, hey, what you, first of all, don't you call out Darius Jordan. The nasty man has already done his work tonight. I see he's, it. I he's see came it. In, shout he's out, blessed shout the already. But go ahead, bro. Uh, no, nah, that ev literally everything everyone said here is 100% accurate. Uh, I'll make sure to call that, that hotline and, and get some help <laughs> because I don't think my problem is gambling. I think my problem is believing in Tyler Hero, right? <laughs> He that's proved a, you right tonight. You're dumbass yeah, on a triple double. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have bet it's over on like points or something, you might have agreed. That's great. He could have bet the over on assists without ha it having to be a triple double, and he would have got. Well, it. I bet like 17 different bets today, so I hit several. Wait, but he could have he could have parlayed like the over on his <laughs> <laughs> rebounds and assists and probably all did. separately. <laughs> Instead, he got greedy. He wanted to post that five. Well, he wasn't even going to post the amount bet and the amount won. He was going to post on, on social media the plus 7,500 with the green of the Tyler Hero triple double. And that is shameful. He was trying to make that all his, his parlay money for the last three weeks. Oh that he lost. Gotta play catch up, baby. <laughs> I'm in the black. The I'm in the black. <laughs> That's the game, baby. All right. So we got we got 45 minutes. I'm not doing much more than that because we did a playback. So I'm sorry, guys. Y'all should have laughed by now. If you haven't, then that's your fault. Um, Real quick. Go ahead. Hey, Gaddyo. <laughs> Get ready to learn J.J. McCarthy, bucko. <laughs> Yeah, nah. Soccer's my favorite sport anyways, if I'm being honest with you. So I'm not pressed about it either anyway. 
<laughs> I'm good. But what Kendall, Tell if I get Greg Mayer, you're, you're the first person I'm calling. Extension. Yeah, fight back. <laughs> you're the first person I'm calling if I get Drake May. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 He's a hooper. <laughs> when I get Drake May and A.D. Mitchell. <laughs> hey, brother. All bets are off. That what you say. Yeah. Oh, I'm still winning that five games next year. I'm going to have fun AFC. doing it. We're the worst team in the AFC East. That's what that means. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, look, so th- real quick, real early, we'll do this again during playback of the first game because I don't know how many more streams or whatever we're going to do. I want to hear everybody's initial like predictions for the first round. So who wins? How many games? Let's start with the delusionals. And first with you, bro. How do you see this series playing out? Uh, let me tell you one thing. Come on now. Caleb Martin owns oh that fucking God. team. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We do. I forgot something. I forgot something. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Now, Get it together. There we go. Make there a little more go. sense right now. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember Caleb Martin, but he fucking dogged that team last year. And Celtics fans, you don't got no fucking excuse this time because you know what's coming. Bam and about, we've seen him be the best player in multiple series versus the Boston Celtics. You got him coming back too. And now you don't got Jimmy Butler who don't like to fucking pass the ball. You see you don't got his ass out there today. The ball is moving. It's fluid out there. You got fucking, who else is he, man? Cole Swider? I don't fucking know. Listen, he didn't fucking six. You know why? Because every time this team got their backs against the walls, that's when they perform. And guess what, Gad? I'm throwing 800 on the Miami Heat to win the series. And you ain't getting none of it when I win. How, nigga, you how, know me, <laughs> <laughs> this. do not reflect the rest of this channel's opinion. Correct, Gaddy O'Connor. <laughs> Absolutely correct. Holly right there with you, though. She picking Heat at six, too. Uh, the guy is delusional Celtics at four, buddy. We'll see. Stone, get, uh, give him some more of that delusional shit, Stone. The Boston Celtics are not going to sleep for two straight nights. Joe Missoula is the worst coach I've ever seen in my life. He was coaching Division II basketball three years ago. That is a Division II coach going up against Eric John Spolstra. He's been having nightmares about what that man did to him last year, what he almost did to him the year before. Mm, I I got the heat and six, and I think they're just going to give them hell. They're going to steal game <laughs> one, and then it's just going to be a dung fight from there on out. I thought we were start with that delusional shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to give y'all a delusional sandwich because, oh, I'm feeling a lot of y'all motherfucking ass this evening. Gat, <laughs> give me your predictions for, for this series. Oh, my God. First of all, Stone, was that a poem? Like, did you AI that? <laughs> He sounded like he was reading off a teleprompter. <laughs> Listen, he was reading an iambic pentameter. That's why I had to ask. I took that was a freestyle. I, <laughs> I got that officer Ricky flow. That's Boy, crazy. You sound more blind fear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing some Coach Carter quotes. We fear that we are yeah, inadequate. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm going to say... I'm gonna say the Heat get one. I'm gonna say it's it's Celtics in five, and I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of that one game. Yeah. And I probably won't watch the elimination game, but I'm cool with it. Just make them make them sweat once, just one time, and I'm cool. You could lose in four, but no, nah, I, I would like to see the Heat win one game. That satisfaction of whatever the 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 media is after the fact would just be. That's all I need. That's all I need. I need it to be one zero or one one. Yeah, I think 1-0 would be the ideal one. I did not know that there were three days in between, like game one and game two. I That that to me makes it feel like game one is extremely important. Like, it's extremely important. You win game one, they have to sleep on that shit for three days. New, uh, give me a, a prediction for the series. Um, I agree with everything Gad said. I just don't believe in this team. <laughs> so, so I think they – I think they'll keep game one close. A guy will get his wish. They'll ultimately lose. They'll get run off the court in game two. Game four, they might come out with some fervor. They're going to blow the third quarter lead. And then game four, they'll give up. said some fervor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what 
Don't, don't read that word too loud against Nik- uh, next to Nikola Jovic because he, he has not gotten to that lesson yet. <laughs> yeah, so no, I, I have Boston in four, unfortunately, but don't make me sweat the, one. You think he got the iambic pentameter yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he breathes an iambic pentameter, bro. With that beat, <laughs> Miss Foul looking. <laughs> uh, he do like Miss Foul off of Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I have that edit somewhere on my phone, man. But that was the old me. <laughs> right, you're a new person now, yeah. You a new, new me in April. Yeah. You're in a different room and everything. Like it's insane, no, this right? is the same room. It's just a, my, my laptop angled a little. <laughs> he got the lights turned <laughs> off. Listen, <laughs> man, I started working from home a couple of years ago. This is all I got. <laughs> it's like that picture of the dude who's standing real close to the camera, and then he's standing back farther from the shit camera. Back, but <laughs> back. That's all. The two just, big just... changes, everything. Word to Ant. <laughs> you feel me, uh, Kendall? How you looking at the series playing out? Christos Porzingis, the new Daniel Tice. White boy. Jalen Brown, your Leon Poe. Jason Tatum, your overweight Antoine Walker. <laughs> Derek White, I don't even know if he played. You know, nah. Yes, you're Courtney Lee. Come on now. And um, what's the dude's name? Drew Holiday, Keith Bogans. <laughs> Your boys is bogus out there, bro. Miami finna do the damn thing. Yeah! If Dell put his stamp on it, just know it's true. Heat in two. Come on now. Celtics in six. <laughs> but the ride will be magnificent. We do it for friends. <laughs> we are always running for the thrill of it. Thrill of it. On and on and on. Word iceberg. Over and over and over. On and on and on. But yes, we will get to. They will be stressed. They're going to get four off talent. It is what it is. But at least we'll know. The friends we made along the way was worth it. <laughs> the power of friendship, power of friendships. I, I I like that. I like that. I just disagree. <laughs> it's not going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you cut me off, Justin, and I don't feel it no more. So now I'm finna go ahead and tell the truth. It's cool. It's cool. I was gonna say that he gonna blow the ass out. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like. Game one is ours to be had. If Miami wins game one, he is six. I'm a liar, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to put that out there. But when you put this, Sosa, when you clip this, only clip the part that I said he did six. That's all I need people to understand from me right now. I don't believe nothing I'm saying. But the Heat are going to win this in six games. I think this is a coming out party for Bam in the playoffs. I think he's always been here. I think he's been consistent. I think people have underrated his contributions to these runs that Miami has made. And I think without Jimmy Butler, this gives him the opportunity to kind of highlight what he's been doing this entire time. Bam's play alone is going to get us two wins. I I firmly believe that. I believe that I think Bam can get us two wins versus the Celtics. He's like that dude on your hockey team you send out to injure the other players. That That's what he's going to do for us. You call it Bam team. one of the best brothers from the Mighty Ducks? That's Absolutely. not who he is. No, bitch-ass nigga. He, I will say this. Since he's talking about Bam, one of his uh, contemporaries that people love to compare him to, he's currently in a legacy game right now, and he has no legacy. Dirty Sabonis, boy. If you lose to a Zion this Pelicans team with your season on the line, oh, brother, <laughs> you will not be allowed in your home country, and you will be deported from America if it's on me. <laughs> you will not be joining Nikola Jovic on that how? national team this year. <laughs> I don't even know what country. Konnichiwa. Come on now. 
Boom, 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 boom. Konnichiwa. Shengang Finals. Thank you. Thank you. What's your grand win? What's your grand win? What's your grand What's your grand win? 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 What's I was James Wiseman like, better freshen up on his because he going next to me. Because <laughs> his, his transfer over there to that league is imminent, bitch. Like, on the way. Uh, but, yeah, I think Miami has an opportunity to do one of the funniest things in the NBA if they win game one. Uh, if they win game one, bro, I'm calling off all bets. If they lose game one, then you can expect a quick series. I got the Celtics in five. If the Heat win, then I got the Heat in six. Like, that's just the way that I'm looking at it right now. I'm also lying about that second part, but it doesn't matter because that <laughs> that's what I do. I'm allowed to lie to y'all right to y'all face and make it look like I'm serious. So thank you guys in the comments, as always, for joining the show, making it much more fun than it would have been without you. Thank you to all the panelists that pulled up one time for the one time. I'm looking for them. Uh, we, got, we got my boy Ant pulled up. Got my boy Stone pulled up. Got members of the Kane gang pulling up. My girl New, my dog Kendall. And of course, I want to shout out my boy Gad. Gad, we miss you, brother, and we appreciate you for coming. Shout up out here. you guys. Sure to... Yeah, man. I don't sure know next time. The, the Heat only got four more chances at stream, so <laughs> is I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> you might pull up again if we we'll so see. happen to play enough games. We'll see. Listen, <laughs> I mean, right now. God knows you don't stream. Well, you supposed to be streaming at some time. Heat win at papajohns.com. Promo code. Get it in because this might be the last hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the last time that piece is hell price. Combining your papa bucks with that heat promo code. <laughs> your papa dough. Like, that's the S and D. Got the reward points cooking out there. I got $10 I've been waiting to spend, but I'm too far away from, from, the, from the home base. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I, I hope y'all love it. Y'all need that. But um, yeah, we'll see y'all next time at, after a playoff game, ladies and gentlemen. Bring your donut. Like the video, Justin. Hey, uh, hey, yeah, yeah, do, do. Play on, play on, play on. Yeah. He didn't fire, he didn't fire, he didn't fire, he didn't fire. Play on. Hold it, what are you doing? Best trip here. Body gon' be a star, but he's not that guy. No, he ain't. <laughs> Thought the bubble boy set the bar, but that was a lie. Yep. Uh.